Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Xinyang. I'm a PhD student in UC Berkeley. And uh, as Shreya mentioned last time uh, in last talk that uh, training LLMs is very difficult and tweaking with the model is also uh, not easy to do. And today I'm presenting EasyLM, a simple and scalable framework precisely to do that. And hopefully with uh, this 15 minutes of talk, I will convince you that uh, it's actually not so difficult to customize and train your own large language models. So if we look at existing frameworks for training large language models, I will borrow this picture from uh, this famous picture from Angry Kaparsi from his uh, most famous mean GPT, now nano GPT implementation. Most of the existing frameworks fall into two categories. The scalable frameworks are very complex. They're like a, hu a humongous uh, battleship that has uh, all these bells and whistles. And also the simple didactic frameworks that are very easy and minimal and very easy to use. So let's dive into each of these frameworks and see why that's the case. So if you look at mostly these educational framework that's very easy to use and easy to learn, uh, we see that this is because essentially causal language models are very simple. They're standardized transformer architectures with only minor tweaks. And the training methods for these language models are also quite standardized. You just use supervised fine tuning, you use atom optimizer, all of these things have basic standard implementations in today's neural network libraries and only require minimal coding on the user side. So why do we still have these uh, complicated uh, uh, language model frameworks? The heavy lifting is mostly for the scalability. The previous minimal language model framework, if you just run it to run it on a single GPU or on a few GPUs on a single machine, that might be sufficient. But if you want to scale up your training in the cloud on many different machines, on hundreds of uh, GPUs or TPUs, it's very difficult. So these scalable language model frameworks are often built to handle that case. On the other hand, these scaling mechanisms are often deeply integrated into the model and training loop, make it very difficult to customize. For example, if you want to build your own language model, you want to take an existing complicated impl implementation, it's very difficult to do. And I was wondering, can we actually bridge the gap between this minimal uh, language model framework and the scalable language model frameworks? And I believe with today's uh, machine learning framework, we actually can. And this is my analogy here. It's like a futuristic battleship that's very powerful, but automatically controlled. That means it doesn't need much input from the user to be able to do the very scalable heavy lifting. So how does it work? The key idea is we can actually keep the model and the training loop of the minimal language model framework to be minimal and simple. And we leverage modern machine learning compilers to automatically scale up the computation. So this is the framework we develop called EasyLM. And as you can see, it gains quite a lot of stars on GitHub. And you can also scan this uh, QR code to see the framework itself. EasyLM has a lot of uh, support for existing uh, popular open source language models, such as Llama and GPTJ. And it also integrates deeply with the Hugging Trace Transformer ecosystem. That means that frame language model trained with uh, EasyLM can be easily exported to the Hugging Face format. And it supports flexible parallelism and has a lot of building bells and whistles for model serving and evaluation. So let's dive uh, deeper into it. So first of all, when you write a language model in EasyLM training, you mostly just write a model for a single GPU. So look at the training code here. It's essentially just computing the logics and computing the loss as if you're doing the computation on a single GPU. This, gives, this makes it possible to directly expose all the essential model details, such as the model definition and the loss function, directly to the user without dealing with hundreds of lines of complicated code. This makes the language model really customizable. But how do we scale it up? We scale it up automatically with modern machine learning compiler. So since EasyLM is built in JAX, we're able to leverage JAX parallel JIT computation, uh, compiler to automatically transform the simple train loop we defined before into scalable multi-host, multi-accelerator programs. So how to do that? The first step is for user to simply provide what's called a sharding rule. And these sharding rules are mostly standard for modern transformers. You can just copy it from somewhere else, and you don't have to really write it yourself. And once you have the sharding rule, you can use this co uh, compiler to directly transform the 
single GPU program you defined before into a scalable program. So after you transform it into a scalable program, you then provide simple specifications of uh, parallelism by basically providing three numbers of the shapes of uh, your accelerator configuration. And ECM supports a flexible 3D mesh of parallelism, including a mixture of tensor parallelism, fully sharded data parallelism, also known as zero stage three, and also the normal replicated data parallelism. And as the example here, I'm showing you simply just provide three numbers, then you can scale up your training program to 256 accelerators, uh, covering a group of uh, four data parallelism groups, 16 ways of fully shattered data parallelism, and four ways of tensor parallelism. Now, with all these uh, simple program to set up, how does it perform? It actually performed decently compared to both existing open source implementations and also commercial solutions. Here's a comparison of our throughput in training our 7 billion Open Llama model. We can see that uh, on A100, we actually achieved comparable throughput to Mosaic's MPT7B model, which is a very popular commercial solution these days acquired by Databricks. And also, we're doing better on TPU than Google's T5X open source solution, which is a you know, much more complicated uh, implementation, which is better for larger models, but not so good for these smaller models. And running EZLM is also very simple. All the training configurations is basically exposed via command line arguments. This means that you only need to write one single stroke for all configurations. You don't have to deal with all these complicated levels of YAML configuration file. Just one single script, you can launch your experiment and run. Now, in today's talk, I'll also give you two use cases of EZLM, of models trained with EZLM. Oh, one more thing to add here. We also have built-in support with uh, serving the model and also evaluating the model and having a chat UI. So you can play with the, directly play with the model you trained. Today, we'll also give you two examples of model training with EZM, hopefully to convince you that it's actually not so difficult to do. So the first model is what we call the Koala, a dialogue model we train here in UC Berkeley. It's essentially very similar to all these various of styles of fine-tuned llama, including things like Alpaca and Vicuna. And basically, we took the shared GPT data online and fine-tuned our llama to become an instruction-following model. The fine-tuning, as you can see here, is very cheap. It's fine tuning on a single AGPU machine for only six hours. This means that uh, you can actually do the complete fine tuning run with less than $100 on cloud with spot instances. And I'm pretty sure any company can afford this cost. So hopefully, this will convince you that it's not so costly and so difficult to do. Now, how does this fine tune model perform? It actually, on the recently released results of uh, LLM Chat Arena, which is comparing lots of different chatbots in a uh, user study, we showed that uh, 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 Koala actually performs very comparably to the top of the line fine-tuned llama model, which is uh, Vicuna. And in the further study we study ourselves, we actually found out that uh, some of our data we use during our fine-tuning time actually hurts the performance of the model. This really showcases that you know, curating high-quality data set is very important which is also another reason why you should fine tune your own language model instead of using an existing language model via API. Now, this is a fine tuning. This is for a smaller scale study. How does uh, EZLM help us train large language models scale up on hundreds of accelerators? We also did a project for pre-training language model, which is Open Llama. One of the one of the main bottlenecks we see with Llama-style models is that uh, Llama is released not under a commercial license, it's under an academic research-only license. And many people who want to use Llama for their startups, for their business, cannot do so because of a license. And on the other hand, people have built a lot of great ecosystems around the Llama models, such as you know, Llama CPP, such as these very fast on-device inference engines. So seeing these opportunities, we decided to take some of the computation resources. We have also some resources sponsored from Stability AI to basically replicate the pre-training of Llama to create a completely permissive licensed Llama reproduction that can serve as direct replacements as the original Llama weights. 
So we released a series of pre-training, including the smallest model, like a three billion model, a seven billion, and a 13 billion model on this red pajama data set, which is a reproduction of a llama data set released with, uh, from a company called Together. And the model pre-trained on these uh, red pajama data set can directly serve as dropping replacement. It uses the exact same Llama architecture. Any code you've written for Llama can directly use this. On our zero-shot uh, benchmark evaluations, we actually also see that our reproduction of Llama uh, reaches comparable performance to the original Llama models, which is shown in the table here. So, this hopefully can convince you that uh, actually training your own language model is not so difficult and you can leverage a lot of open source frameworks and the open source model as your base model to start fine tuning and customize it for your own business. If you're interested in uh, this work, uh, please scan this QR code to see our framework on GitHub and also maybe talk to me after the talk. All right. Yes.